Hello and welcome. This is Sports Page, where we give you a platform to place your mouth where your passion is, to show off your sport knowledge, and all arguments are spot on. I am Solomon Adjuzogu. We now know all 32 countries going to the 2018 World Cup in Russia. How will they play and who will win it? One of our analysts had said the World Cup is not the English Premier League, EPL, where a Leicester City can come from nowhere and win it. The manager of Western FC of London says one of the usual suspects will win it. But the president of the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, Ahmed Jupinik, says Nigeria can win it. Do you agree? Do you think the Super Eagles can win it? That's our debate today. Who will win the Russia 2018 World Cup? You can join the discussion with me at Sporting Solo TV, see? Or at TVC News, NG, or better still, on Twitter at TVC Connect, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. Joining me on the debate podium are two gentlemen. Well, they are quickly becoming faces you see on sports debate. Yeah. Anytime, Abadino, you are welcome to sports it's debate. It's always a pleasure to be here when you get to, like you said, show your passion and put your mouth where your passion is. Great. Hmm. Enoch Olangri Waju. Great to be here again. Good. To put my mouth to where my passion is. Can the Super Eagles win it, or will the usual suspects win it? <clears throat> Super Eagles? Not at all. And the usual suspects? Well, you're the usual suspect for me. I may, my pick may be Germany or Brazil. Germany or Brazil? Yeah. Anytime. I think uh, as a passionate Nigerian, as a true believer of what is currently going on in the national team setup, this might just be the time an African country will eventually win the World Cup. Really? Mm -hmm. I think Nigeria is very And Nigeria? Bad. Of, uh, what of give me the optimism quickly? Uh, uh, 1992 Euro Nations Cup, Denmark did not qualify. Yeah. So, uh, the team that qualified pulled out, and Denmark was called in last minute, last minute, and they went all the way. Yes, the Euro, Euro Nations is not the, it's not the EPL, likewise, it's the any HOD Cup, but it's also a World Cup and a team that, is, that has enough belief. And the build up, the, the bonus issue that could probably drag us back has been solved in advance, well, long in advance. And now we're having a pool of players who are committed, who are hungry and young enough to want to make an impact. They can win it. Nigeria is not Denmark. Nigeria is not Denmark. Denmark was let not me, Denmark. Let me give you an instance. Do you know that Italy won't be in the World Cup, but if you are record black, they can win it. They can win the World Cup. It's not, see, when we're talking about countries that can win the World Cup, we're talking about how well are they prepared. What is the, we are talking about the quality of the team. We are talking about the fabric of the team. What are the players that make up the team? Can we say Nigeria is in the rank of Germany? Can we say Nigeria is in the rank of um, Brazil? Good enough, we, we won I think we Argentina. Should, I, think, I think we should take is it Nigeria in the rank player. of Germany, Argentina? Let's play them in a friendly game. We just played Argentina. And they, they, not, they are not good enough top class. now. They, we thought they are top class. They yes, they struggled to qualify for they the World Cup. Good. But until now, this, you, you just mentioned Germany. Germany is also looking to the future already. We saw the team they paraded at the Confederations Cup. That and is I can where tell I'm you, going. No country that has won the Confederations Cup has ended up winning the World Cup. It's a fact. Go back in the years. Then we still have Brazil. Cup. But you cannot, you cannot even look at Brazil has been that. erratic. Brazil we drew can, against England. We cannot, we cannot. Brazil has been erratic. They drew against are, England. What, what with, all, with Neymar, with, against all, with, Brazil. All, with all the top players there, they could parade. They drew against England. Yes, you might call it a friendly. The, but it's for the taste of the pudding that you know how the soup will turn out. Hello, my God. When we are talking about we players, are, they, they, we are talking about 11-11 right now. Then we need to be comparing. We need to compare our players to this uh, on Germany, to the players of Brazil. We are getting have been struggling of lately. We don't even know what the problem is with them. Either with Messi or without Messi, they have been struggling. Mm -hmm. Argentina has paraded one of the best strikers in this world as at present, and they are still struggling. Currently, you've cancelled that. Yeah, rightly, you've cancelled that Argentina. But I can also tell you that all the top players for Germany are also struggling. What are, so far? They are so not. Their best, their best uh, talisman, which is Mola. Mola. What has he played this season? Oh my, oh. How often has he played? But How many uh, goals Mola has, has he been turning in for the country? How many goals has he, he has scored? been turning in for the country? He has, he has not played because regularly he has for his country. The last two friendly matches, they had to use long boys. 
Not no, they have to use they might tell you because Mula no, was, was between injured you, then. Between me and you, they might tell you that he's a younger boy. But fixed. they are having a plan B because they know the first team set then up. Then that is what I'm saying. Mario Gosda is not the same about player. Plan B, Michael Rice is injured. We cannot even beat, beat uh, 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 Janice plan. Uh, you have to wait until you play them before, before you can give that assurance. Okay, who are the players Who are the players to match these players? Can Alex Wobi be a game changer or not? I don't want you not you know you to unless it will be a game changer. We can but you can the can best tackling in the best tackling in the English Premier League. Where does it in the rank? Where does it in the rank? In the best tackling in can you compare Alex to what we have? A Michael Rice that we know that probably will not play in the World Cup or when he's not he will not be he's not an assumption. He has an assumption. And if he's even available, he will not be fit. Because he did enough playing time for you to reach this place, please. My Gosa is my Gosa is not the pick of he's no longer the pick of the but these are the guys that even won the conversation because we are talking about. Mula is struggling. Mula, Mula is struggling. Mula, Mula scored the same, under Ancelotti. I can give you, and see, then you might call it blasphemy, there. but I can give you this. We are almost at the same pedestal with Germany. We, we are have, not. Germany has a group of young boys who have a point, a point to prove. Betty Moena, they see how we like this. We have Jatla, who really gets a long time at PSG. We have uh, Joshua ben, Kimmich, who is coming up the rank. Future captain of the national team, fantastic player, but they are hungry and looking for opportunity. So, yes, also we, have, so also we have young talent. We have Alex Wobi as a point to prove. We have Kelechi Yanacho, who has the legendary status to fulfill. Say, uh, as, as the manager of Watson has said, one of the usual suspects is going to win it. There, are, the, there is no surprises in um, uh, Quad Cup. It has never been. You said manager of Watson. So, no, have you ever seen surprises? Even Guardiola in, cannot predict oh, who will win the have World Cup. Have you ever seen the the surprises sure. in World Cup that, oh, the company, uh, did it surprise us? Did Senegal surprise us to the quarter final? They were surprised. They, 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 they had the best chance. Jam, but Jamie they never won. Jamie surprised Argentina in 1990. Italy surprised France in 2006. They are big teams. They are big teams amongst themselves. It's not what we are talking about. Quickly, let's do a breakdown. Let's do a breakdown of the Italian team that won in 2006. What are the players? We are talking about Fabio Gozo. We are talking about a retiring Fabio Cannavaro. We are talking about players going out of fashion. He was not the hottest. We are expecting Argentina. We are expecting Brazil to win that World Cup. But Italy came out of the shadows. Let's be Italy came out of the shadows to win. World Cup is not a tea party for the young boys. You can go now, there and see, have a decent. Before now, you I can could, I go could, there and get a decent, decent campaign. It's very, very good. Beyond decent, when you are talking I'm about winning you, the, the World Cup, we have now, the big boys. We have experienced players. We have, you, we, we have, have young, we have young players. Young experienced have, players who are, are playing in their clubs regularly. They are playing in their clubs. We only have a yes or no. You cannot talk about in Kelechi. In, 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 what about Indidi? What about Mikel? Mikel in. What about William Chusekong? In in. Is William Chusekong playing? Is Charlie Singh is not where football are? Is played. Do you have players? What, 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 where did Barcelona what, what sign for Leo? Where did Barcelona sign for Leo from? What is the position of um, the uh, where did, uh, Tanji, no, Tanji, you, where you are just discrediting Tanji. the Charlie League. Where did Barcelona, when they had crash, where did they went? They, went, where they, they were go? there because for of Leo? the money. No, they, they, they signed for Leo. They, they signed, just went there they to signed for Leo because of his talent. And Mikel, anywhere in the world, ask any best player in the world, they will not discredit for the retired players. Mikel is still not retired. He's playing. He went there because he wants money. No. And he's, he's not getting, no. play, getting paid. Have you heard that for Why him? can't he agree with, uh, with, uh, with what? Him, uh, Europe? Why go, don't what he happened to Algeria he because who of have money. all the stop stars? But yet, home and away, we got a victory in Nigeria. We, we picked the joy away. A, away from home. What does that tell you about the quality see, and the mentality you, of this boy? See, what, the that's, thing, that's the problem with African football. Because you are, you, the, um, I, for, my, for my point uh, before, I've said that uh, all these Algerian team, they were overrated. By you, they, or by not. Okay, also, when last, they have players, when they have been, 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 they have they when last, no, 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 no. That's not it. But what, what about when Belgium? last did Brazil win this? What about Belgium? When, when last did Brazil win Copa America? They, they couldn't win the, the, when the, 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 last, the, the, when last did Brazil win Copa America? More than three tournaments or four tournaments ago. That was when Brazil won Copa America. Chile has won the last two editions. Yes. Does that make Brazil a bad team? It doesn't make them a bad. Does team. that make them overrated? But well, they are still when big boys when they come to the World Cup. They are still big boys when it comes to beat this uh, on this uh, team that you are uh, talking about. They beat Argentina. Uh, they beat Cameroon. Abi, Abi, they beat them. So what, when we are talking about World Cup, there are no surprises in World Cup. 
The, 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 yeah, I think you are, your missing, form. You, you are missing the point entirely. It's, it's, on your it's form. not about surprises. About your players. We are talking about players who are for, for, for the first time in long while. We are seeing the United Nigerian players. And and okay. The only thing that gave us headache, the bonus draw has been solved. Let me, I'm telling you, every in let me, let me every ask planning question. points to the Among fact that all the players that are taking the cup, uh, uh, World Cup now, how many of them are, has played on the big stage before? On this World Cup? Come on. No, I mean, no, I'm talking, I want, I mean, no, no, World Cup. As El Dazi played, as Mikel played, on Nazi, on Nazi, Omero. Omero. Should I continue? They're not in form now. Who told you they're not in form? Have you seen everything? But they played in the World Cup. is not as, Edison plays, Edison plays regularly for Silver Sport in Turkey. He just returned from injury. Originally signed to Monaco. Because in his playing time. He has always been the in our team. Suspect according to you. Suspect according to you. But the coach keeps using him. The coach kept using him. Because we don't have a choice. No, because we have a choice. We saw a liner who came through the Chelsea rank playing all the team championship. Let me tell you. Let me the current experience. A liner is going to is going to displace him. Can I tell you something about the English setup? Even the even the English setup, they are following what we are doing. They are using the youngsters, just like Germany is using the youngsters. We saw Abraham, we saw Shola again. Young and tested players who they know that these are fit. And our players are not tested. And our players are not tested. Which of our players? Which of our players are not tested? They are the mixture of the young and the old. The old, the older players, they are still there. They are not taking them away. They are still going to World Cup. We still have a Nazi who has a World Cup experience. We have a Mikel who is experienced. We have an Omero who is experienced at the World Cup level. Nations Cup, Nations Cup winner and World Cup player. We have been part of the Nations Cup. We have Victor Moses. We have Victor Moses. Victor Moses. How many times have you been in the World Cup? Yeah, he was at. Do you need to be there ten times? Yeah, we're talking about the experience. His experience. He has played in the Champions League. He has won the Premier League. He has played the competition. Hold on. That is not it. Nations Cup winner. Let's go back to USA '94. Even that's the BBC, that's, the best, that's the best thing we have ever played. Even the BBC, and then we were, we went performance. out because of the inexperience. But now we have the experience. because someone has to put uh, Roberto Baggio down in the box. But this not, is Nigeria. This is this is 2018. But not 1994. This is 1994. This is not 1994. We have okay, a blend even, of even talented and position. exciting players in that we have position. seen. You you know even what uh, Akwe did, even the friendly. How many goalkeepers he we have? The ball. We see a Valam yes. we have Dele Ajiboye, we have Francis Uzo. Are they the national team? Yes, they are, they, are the part national of, team. they are part of the national team setup. They all right, check the last all right, all right, you, 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 you answer this, you continue this. Are they in the World Cup? He will answer you in the second half. But then, of course, in this half, you will understand with me that it has been a very, very heated debate between our two discussants here. Who will win the 2018 World Cup? Amadou Pinik, the president of the NFF, says Super Eagles can win it. But then our analyst, manager of Western FC, Emmanuel Adekunle, says, no, it is not the EPL. Nobody will do a Leicester here. One of the usual suspects will win it. One of those suspects, Italy, is out of it. They are not at the World Cup. So let's listen to Amadou Pinik. Tell us that the Super Eagles will win it. He was addressing journalists in Russia. But what do you think? Do you think Nigeria can win it or the, any of the usual suspects will win it? You can contribute to our discussion by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News and your better still at TVC Connect, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. It's still sports debate with me, Solomon Adjuziogu, and the topic we're looking at today is who will win the 2018 World Cup in Russia? Can the Super Eagles win it, as president of the NFF, Amadou Pinik, told us? Or will we have the usual suspects win it, like our analyst uh, and coach and manager at Western FC London, Emmanuel Adekunle, has told us? Here, we have... Enoch Olanriwaju, who believes that, of course, the World Cup is not a tea party. Yeah, and so party. you need experienced people to win it. And that the Super Eagles don't stand a chance because they have too many players who are appearing there for the first time who are inexperienced. But then it's nobody now here says the Super Eagles can do a less time in the, in, the, in the World Cup. Truthfully, the World Cup is not a tea party, but neither are Nigerian tea makers. 
Wow. So you've had that. What do you think about this? You can contribute and be a part of our discussion by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC or at TVC News NG or better still at TVC Connect, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. Now, you were saying something about the players, right? Yep. Yeah, and so I think it was a question he directed to you. Yeah, and I think uh, he has got his, uh, that, that question misplaced. <clears throat> we are talking about talented players who used to walk up to advertise their talent. At every point in time, a player has to attend the walk up for, for, for the very first time, even the so called regulars. And, and, and every walk up here, the regulars have always ended up disgracing us. And uh, we have, uh, even the ones that we are sure of that we pursue that our Brazil will win it, at the end of the day, they eventually make the, the, the quarter final or the semi finals. Another, another country, a big power that you might see, we virtually will bow at every point in time. And it has been happening, it's a sequence that has been happening since early 90s for the World Cup, where teams have been surprising us, pushing the, pushing the ladder. We saw, uh, we saw uh, South Korea, they got to the quarter, uh, semi final. We saw Cameroon, they got to the quarter final. Senegal did it. We have a lot of countries that are pushing the barrier at every point in time. And we are saying we have, we have never been this close. Pele, have, if you are saying this, uh, analysts have said this, and Pele have said that. Pele also said this sometime back in 1994 or 1995, if I'm not mistaken. I stand to be corrected that an African team will win the World Cup very soon. Very, and which we very did, soon. When, uh, and we when, started with the Olympics. And we started with the Olympics. Yeah. This same Brazilians, this same Argentinas, Italians, and co. No. We, divided, we divided them at the Olympics. We've done it. And yeah, that was back then. Back then, and we are saying and we can after, after, after that 1996 uh, Olympic, have we, have we won, won it? Have we won, won, won it? After, so won it that tells you the world order. Have, have, the world have won it again? You know, you know why this year is different. Let me tell you why 2016 is different. There's, Before there's now, no Africa, in... Africa has always been in crisis in terms of administration. Africa have, have failed to See, win the World Cup not talk, because they have less talent. It's teams. because administrative problem has always been the big devil in the room. Has it been solved? Yes. The biggest administrative problem we have for every World Cup is bonus round. And a document has been bonus. It's not even bonus. We are still round. talking about bonus. We have a quality round. coach. What about, what about we have a quality coach, experienced coach. What about the preparation? Has he coached in World Cup before? He has coached in Europe. Oh, oh has he, has, he coached in World he has, Cup he has, before? He has been part of the he final, German setup. World Cup. He coached Bordeaux to the final of the of the now called the Europa no, Cup, then the FA Cup. See, he has been there and done that. He has he has done the top players. He has he has coached. Let us even leave the let us in Germany in all the top players. We are talking about players. We are talking about teams. We are talking about we are talking about world class players. This stage is a big stage for world class players for Christ's sake. And it's also and a stage where world class players are crowned. They are yes or no? Yes. So and they are not. Why, why, they are not, why, why are you okay. exempting Nigerian world class talents? Okay, let's let's start from 1994. So is Mikel Lubin not world class? In what? Proving himself sense? over and over again. In Champions League winner, Europa and League winner, Premier League winner. Chelsea won the EPL. Come on. Won, won, won the EPL, won the, EPL, won the, EPL, won the, EPL, won the Nations Cup, oh. played at the World it's Cup. Not, it's not as you know a top class player. No, one, we saw it, Nigeria it versus right. Nigeria versus when, France. Nigeria versus France. France. Let me, let me, 2014 World Cup. says that when you see, when they're in the city of the blind, a one high man. Are you saying Mikel is one eyed? I'm saying that in the city of the blind, who are the blind? And one who are the, high guy. We have players that are playing regularly for the no. European clubs. Victor Moses. Mi Victor Moses is, is, a, is an EPL mi winner. He's is, is doing, is doing, is doing well. But if we recognize by BBC as one of the best African players that's going for an one, award. One of the, we have not we have done that before. We have seen the progression uh, of see, Victor Moses uh, from that player on. from uh, Crystal Palace Academy to Wigan to Chelsea to Liverpool to West Ham. We have players who can change the game. That to Yerking. Right? We have players who can change a game. We have everyone. We have players who can change a game. Singwadi only change a game. And that is one of the biggest ingredients you need to. We have Mozi. We have Wobi. And we saw the partnership between Yanachua and and it will be at that last friendly money. We are, they are going to work. These are the exciting things that, they that are tell going you that to this up. team is ready. They are going to. It, this they, team is ready. I'm not saying they are not ready. Did you see I'm that? To did you watch that free kick by Yana Chow? When you are, when that means you have a dead ball specialist. Ego, this is that, that Nigeria will win mm. a World Cup. See, let me give you the quick answer. Uh, it's not possible. We can make use of that free kick. We can make use of that free kick down because that okay. No, Nigeria. If you are tell me you are afraid, you don't believe in Nigeria, and I agree with you. Not because we don't have the talent to win the World Cup. You don't. You are afraid. You are afraid. This, 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 my, this, my you don't have to feed your fear. My, you don't have to feed your fear to the national team. We have a group of boys who, even the football federation president says, he has seen enough belief in them that, seen, can, that they can take us to the promised land of the World Cup. Promise, yeah, they've you may have your fear. Cup. I understand. I, w I will not begrudge you for having your fear. To, they've taken us to World Cup, but when it comes to World Cup, they're going to meet these big stars. They're going to no. big stars. They have been playing against wicked wickers. He is just playing in the Premier League. He won't be playing with the Premier League. Players are playing in different leagues. How many times has he? You're talking about has played this this year. 
more than five times. Five times. I'm now in this. this in 11 games, he was injured at the beginning of the season. That which you even know. when he was, he was when injured, he, was he missed about three or four games. The, a certain Gabriel Jesus come, came to the uh, Man City and dislodged and him. And he went to a club so that he can get enough players and, to put to you and I to put to you and I to put to you and I that is a quality player. How many goals between you and I? Iana just quality is not in doubt. Yes or no? Now. Is Iana just quality he in doubt? He has played. He has played enough game now. For national team, he has yet to for see national the back team. of the net. For national team, he, he has, seen he has the got the for, back national of the for the national team. For the national but team, for the national team, we're talking about his how many goals if he delivers in the national team. That's the most important. That's what we are talking about. The World if he Cup. delivers in the national team, he's where we're talking. About, who are, what are the cup of people uh, of players or the opposition he has? When he got to when I, we are, I was expecting the, a certain in natural. He played against just against last against season. Uh, he played against uh, Aguero, uh, the same Gabriel uh, Jesus. Uh, he stepped in for Aguero and he passed. He passed the audition. Then he the ball. Anytime City were in trouble last season before I, 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 Natural left, he stepped. He steps up, com, coming in in the game and he scores goals. But now he had the best of match for. We are talking about minutes, current. minutes per goal ratio in the game. We are talking about the current form. Current form is in is in current form is in good form from the national team. But not in the club side. In club side. He the might club be struggling side now. Club side is different from the stage, national team. It's a, a bigger no, stage than the no, national team. Yes, no. there's no bigger stage than the World Cup. Yes or no? The and the national team plays in the World Cup. National team. Well, and yes, the league. The season is a marathon, not a sprint. Cup of, uh, the season is a marathon, not a sprint. The season is still long. That I will step up. I'm sure. To, I put to you and I that is way better than the credit you have given him. In a chalk, as good as he is now, he's been benched. Not even in the first lineup. Who told you he's not? He comes in into the game. Yes, he might not be starting game. Does but he comes to the game. Does he get but playing time or not? I, 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 how many playing? Does time? he get playing Last time, time or he, not? He came. He came as, he, like a cameo appearance. You, he was for introduced. you, he, 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 intro, he was introduced. He was introduced. He couldn't be. He couldn't be a cameo. Some five minutes. minutes. You can't call that cameo. He if it's one or two minutes, minutes. and he didn't make any impact. I didn't make any impact. But the other games he started for them, and he has scored for Leicester this season. Yes or no? He has scored how many goals? The, the season is a marathon, not a sprint. You are running a sprint. So can the Super Eagles win the world? It's not no. possible. It's way, Why way, is it way not possible? possible. It's not possible because we are going to meet the big boys in the in uh, in, in the big in, boys are players are playing the against stage. already. Are they seeing them for the first time? They're not Will seeing it them. Be missing so, Messi and so why uh, is it I different? still maintain that either a certain uh, uh, Brazil or Germany. I even, and even I prove it to you that every, confer uh, every confederation cup winner has never won the World Cup. Then I will talk Brazil still there. Belgium, Belgium are the nearly men of world football, just like Spain has been for some years before they eventually won the World Cup once in Belgium. But, you but this current, current you Belgium, Belgium out too. I, I will give you for free. You can put a stake on it. Belgium will not go beyond the quarterfinal. If they are not, if you are tipping Belgium not to go beyond, uh, and you are tipping, you are saying Nigeria will, will win the World Cup. Is, is, that that your closing remark? is that your closing remark? My closing remark is this. Let's go and prepare very well. Let's go. It's good with massage our ego. Oh, Nigeria can win the World Cup. But There's no massaging of ego. Let's be realistic be... about this target. Nigeria, a certain Nigeria can get to the quarterfinals, but we might not be able to go more than that. If we have, if we go get to quarterfinals, oh, glory to God. We should even thank our stars. Okay, but so winning the World money? Cup is, is for the big boys. It's for the goals, those that have won, those are in the center state. They won't even, they won't even allow you. Okay. There's a, there's a saying that goes, there's always room at the top for a man of will. The Super Eagles current setup has got a will to be world champions, and there's room for them at the top. The big boys' order can always be shaken, and we have every ingredient that points to that fact. From preparation, just after qualifying, we are playing top class friendly matches. Yeah, How best can you te test yeah, your yeah, boys, even though they get so called big boys? How best can you test yourself against the big boys you win in the World Cup than playing with them, psych psyching them out in the friendly matches, and we are meeting them rubbing shoulders, even defeating some of the best in the world? The best time is now, and because there's a room for us at the top, we are taking it. We are not holding any prisoners at the World Cup. You've heard it from our gladiators here. Anytime Badino says the Super Eagles can win it, just like Amadou Pinnick told the Russians, Super Eagles can win it. Totally sure. But I mean, no, like... and knock. Olanri, what you hear says there is nothing but, like it. it. The more realistic target, just like our analyst said, is the quarterfinal. If you are in quarter final, I can understand it's playing safe. And it's then he safe. feels and, and that the safe. usual and suspects the will win it. Usual suspects. But what do you think? Who do you think will win the World Cup? Can the Super Eagles win it? Well, we wait to see. But you can weigh in on this debate by sending your tweets to me at Sporting Solo TVC 
or at TVC News NG, or better still, at TVC Connect, hashtag TVC Sports Debate. Until we come your way again next time, enjoy the rest of your day.